everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Adina and for today's video I will be reacting to the unofficial guide to Blackpink Rosé. So I know in the in my reaction to the guide for Lisa I had said that I would be going in age order from youngest to oldest but obviously that didn't happen because I ended up doing Jenny's guide with her music video for Solo because I really wanted to see Solo and I was like I mean if I'm gonna watch the music video I might as well watch the guide with it so yeah that in age order thing kind of went out the window <laughs> but now I'm going to be doing the rest of the girls so I'll be doing Rosé this video and then I'll be doing Jisoo in a future video so excited for this so without further ado let's get straight into it in three two one play Hi, welcome to the unofficial guide to Blackpink. On this episode, we're going to learn about our honey-voiced, guitar-playing chipmunk goddess, Rosé. Let's get started. Rosé was born in Auckland, New Zealand and raised in Melbourne, Australia. Growing up in Australia, Rosé was involved in activities such as cheerleading and singing in her church choir, showing that she always had a passion for performing, even from a young age. In 2012 YG Entertainment held their auditions in Sydney, Australia. Rosé then made the decision to travel from Melbourne to Sydney and audition, which was a great decision because she placed first in the entire audition. You go girl. Damn. Immediately following the audition Rosé officially became a YG trainee and moved to Korea to pursue her dream of debut. Rosé went on to train for about 4 years and 2 months. During her time as a trainee, one of the things Rosé got to do was a collaboration with Big Bang's G-Dragon on his track Without You. G-Dragon for those who don't know, is one of the biggest idols in K-pop. So, featuring on his song is a very big deal, especially as a trainee. G-Dragon even praised Rosé for her unique vocals. Ooh. I like that song. Group. Oh, I think I've heard that part of the song. I don't think I've heard the whole song, but I've definitely heard that part somewhere. Blackpink debuted on August 8, 2016 to massive hype, which they have lived up to in a big way. Blackpink's debut broke many records. They have the fastest first place on a music show. They won just 13 days after debut. They have the fastest debut MV to reach 100 million views. The most viewed debut MV for girl group. Their Japanese debut sold out in seconds. The first K-pop group ever to reach number one on all major Korean streaming charts with their debut single. They won Rookie of the Year at five different award shows. Blackpink was known as a quote-unquote monster rookie group, and Rosé was known as the girl with the sweet honey vocals. She went on big music variety shows such as The Masked Singer to display her unique honey vocals. <laughs> I remember this. And Kwang was like... He like knew immediately <laughs> who it was. I've seen this too. I 
loved her voice. Rosé not only can sing, but she can also play the piano. As well as I love hearing people playing that song on the piano. Weekly Idol. So Let's move on to some interesting facts about Rosé. Some reports claimed that her waist is just 19 inches wide. Oh, I remember. Which I that was like a huge thing. People, people talking about her, her in waist. Contrast, Rosé loves to eat. She literally stops talking completely and only eats and it's hilarious, but cute to watch. Seen many times in Blackpink House. <laughs> Girl loves her food. Idols love Rosé. Rosé! Okay. Okay. Namely, the girls. <laughs> I have never seen so many idols be drawn to one person. It's especially weird, because you don't usually get a lot of idol-to-idol -idol conversations outside of their group members or variety shows, but it's so nice to see. Rosé. Rosé. Rosé can spin her hands in 360 degrees. Box talk. <laughs> she cries. <laughs> Box news. Everyone has that one friend that cries for seemingly nothing. In Blackpink, that friend is Rose. She's the teary eyed one in a room full of dry eyes. On one episode of Blackpink, oh, when her fish died. she almost cried because the food she was eating was so good. I mean, we've all been there. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa just could not. She couldn't care less. <laughs> chipmunk. People compare Rose to a chipmunk because of her cheeks and after some extensive research. Fair comparison. And last but not least, I'll leave you with my favorite clip of Rosé. This is the bring it on thing, isn't it? <laughs> that is bring it on, right? I'm pretty sure. You made it to God, I haven't seen that movie I in forever. I hope you enjoyed learning more about Rosé and Blackpink as well. If you want to learn more about the girls, you can watch my guide to Lisa on my channel. Blink so you don't miss a thing. Bye bye for now. I love these guys.
but that was amazing. <laughs> a lot of the stuff in there I had pretty much known already. There were a few things. That song, what was it called? Without You with her and GD. That song sounded so good. I'm gonna have to check that out. <laughs> um, wow. I didn't know she came in, in first at uh, the YG audition though. Like, yes, queen. Slay with the vocals since the beginning. <laughs> I love Rose. She's so pretty. She's so cute. She's so talented. Ugh. <laughs> But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what other videos you'd like me to react to. And if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye.